952. Madam Speaker, Section 11 of the Wastewater Management Authority Act provides for the appointment of a Chief Executive Officer to be known as the General Manager, who shall be appointed by the Board with the approval of the Minister on such terms and conditions as it thinks fit. The Board advertised the post of General Manager on 8 August 2016 and set up a panel chaired by the Senior Chief Executive of my Ministry and composed of Mr. Gérard Ebrard, General Manager of CEB, Mr. J. Niranjan and Mrs. N. Dantier, Mr. J. Niranjan being an ex-senior uh, official of the Ministry of Labour and Mrs. Dantier being a board member to carry out the selection and make recommendations. After taking note of the report of the panel on 3 March 2017, the board appointed Mr. Rade, Divisional Manager at the Wastewater Management Authority, to be the Acting General Manager for a period of one year on salary and terms and conditions prescribed by the Pay Research Bureau. The board will consider his appointment on a substantive basis subject to satisfactory performance. Uh, the appointment there is, the, which means that uh, up to now there has been no appointment of a general manager at the wastewater. There is an acting uh, general manager at the authority, may I know from the act, uh, acting prime minister, whether there has been uh, an advertisement for the uh, feeding of this post, uh, and if it was, when, when that was advertised? Let me just, if I may, take just a little time to explain simply how it works. First of all, you must advertise for posts of that nature. One must advertise, and then people come and they say they want to be appointed. Then the panel, composed of serious people, uh, does what its job, and then they select the person. Now, this uh, Mr. Rade, he was already in the service, he had some 15 years experience as an engineer, is qualified in Mauritius and in the Netherlands, is a, I think, doctor or something, very high grade, and he was selected. But in the public service, at first your appointment is on an acting ship basis, because uh, we never know what happens in the course of the first year. Afterwards, he will be appointed. But for the moment, he is the chief executive of the authority. I trust the member has fully understood this. Next question. B953. Madam Speaker, I'm informed by the Wastewater Management Authority that the value of the contract awarded to Series Consult Limited Consultancy Services for feasibility study and detailed design of wastewater disposal system for residents EDC at Riviera du Rempart is 2,990,000 rupees, including VAT, and a provisional sum of one million one hundred and fifty thousand rupees including that yes thank you madam speaker may i know from the uh, honorable acting prime minister if on this project there is a complaint file at the icac by a private company or one of the bidders? Yes, yes, there is an inquiry being conducted by ICAC. So the least said the better. Madam Speaker, this is something extremely serious. And I'm going to table a document. I'm going to table a document. And I'm going to quote. I'm going to quote uh, a letter. Part of, of a letter that had been sent to the ICAC. And uh, following this after tabling this document, I will have a request to the Honorable Acting PM. And I quote. And I 
quote from which, can I know from which document you are quoting? No, this is a document that has been filed at the ICAC. Okay. So let me, let me, let me, let me quote. Well, on a point of order, uh, some, at least a substratum of facts must be established by whom uh, and from whom and how the Honourable Member got it, because confidentiality of ICAC documents, this is a very serious matter. I would request the Honourable Member, as he said, to table the document and let us see at the table whether this document is acceptable or not. Could you please table the document? May I know from the uh, acting uh, PM based the fact that there has been a complaint filed against the chairman of the Wastewater Management Authority, is it not in the interest for the sake of transparency to ask the chairman to step down until this inquiry is over? The, the, the honourable member, I would, I would urge the honourable member to exercise caution. Lots of complaints have been made by especially the trade union. Only this morning I received a letter, copy of a letter, signed by the president of the trade union. I'm going to read it just to make sure that we all exercise caution before making allegations. A letter addressed to the acting general manager. Dear sir, please find below the communique. The communique reads as follows. At a press conference held on 20 February 2017 by the union, certain declarations were made in all good faith, which later proved to be not true, as the union was wrongly informed. The Wastewater Management Authority Employees Union tenders its unreserved, uh, unreserved apology to the Wastewater Management Authority, the chairman, Mr. Suleiman Ansrod, members of the board, the management, and all members of the staff of the Wastewater Authority for any, any harm and prejudice caused to them by these declarations. Now, this, is, this comes from a responsible trade union who had the executive had listened to rumors and they had taken these rumors to be facts. And these include sceneries, etc. So let us not just send rumors all about and then we retract and we make apologies. Why do I say that? It's because as the honorable member himself states, the matter is under inquiry at ICAC. ICAC is an independent authority and ICAC will make its inquiry. We can laugh as much as we want. We can laugh as much as we want. It is conducting an inquiry. Whatever we believe, we must at least respect our laws. And the law says that the ICAC inquiries are confidential. We may scoff, we may laugh, we may do whatever we want, but we have to respect our laws. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, may, I, may I request in, in all trans absolute transparency to the acting Prime Minister to table a copy of the evaluation report of this contract? I'm going to do nothing of the sort. This is a matter which is under investigation. And most of, I must add, there is also a matter in court. I am not going to do anything which is going to be an attempt to influence one way or another, either the judicial proceedings or the ICAC inquiry.